Hey everyone, this is Ken and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on a horse jump test. And what's great about this is extremely accurate and very compact to make. As you can see, we use very little rest zone and it's very easy to make. You have to design this in every system and PC. And it's not that hard, especially in survival mode. So check it out, we got this nice horse here, we're going to test out his jump height, considering that horses could jump anywhere between 2 and 5 blocks. So go right into the center, until you hit the fence, and max out your jump. Now in this case, we maxed out and we only got about 2 blocks in height. And which is okay, it's not the best, but it's something. Now we're going to, we're going to test it again, and a few more times, but it doesn't exceed 2 blocks. And what's great about this is extremely accurate. Now we're going to get off the horse and I'm going to show you how fast this reset system is. Now once you want to test the next horse, you just hit that button and the light turns off automatically. Now we have a physical test over here and I'm going to show you how accurate the test is. Now this says the horse going to jump over two blocks, so let's check it out. Once we max out, you could tell the horse, the horse went over with no problem. Now let's max it out on a three block system. As you can see, it didn't work. Now I'm gonna try about a few more times, but you're gonna notice that the system is that accurate. Now this is the basic materials you're gonna use for this build. You're gonna use a block of your choice, a half slab, a fence, rest on dust, rest on torch, some string, a comparator, a dropper, a rest on lamp, a trip wire, a torch for lighting, and five blocks of dirt. Now this layout over here is only about seven blocks wide and six blocks long. Now we're gonna make a hole about one block deep right in the center. So you're gonna have to go about one, two, three delete that block and delete the ones on the side. So you want to make a hole about three by three and you're going to fill that up with half slabs. Fantastic. Now add a block row right there, about three of them. Add a rest on lamp in the middle, a button in front of it, and blocks covering it. Now in the center you're going to add a rest on lamp about five blocks high. Just like so and cover the sides with blocks on both ends all the way until you hit the top part. Fantastic. Now you're going to add about two blocks on each side. Now just so you know, I want you to understand that the blocks on the side, all the way at the end, will get deleted at one point and I'll explain later. Now add two more blocks, so you have this kind of layout, and two more blocks right on the side on either end, on the left and the right, and extend that upwards as well. Because right now we're going to create the frame. Fantastic. Now right here in the front, add a block right there. Go outwards on the right, and right now this is going to be more of a showcase to just add a frame all around it to cover up most of the rest of them. Now you could design that part any which way you want, but I'm just going to show you based on the tutorial how this will look. Now add a block right on the bottom and then cover up each rest on lamp on top. Add a half slab to the right, one to the left, just like so, and create this downward motion so you get about five half slabs in total. Now add a comparator going towards each block. Now add a dropper going in front of it but going outwards. And what you're going to create is hoppers going, well droppers going, well facing each other right in front of each comparator. Well you kind of get the gist. So put a dropper there and one facing the other one. Perfect. 
Now make sure to repeat this whole process for each comparator. It's very important. Now in this block here, add two half slabs and then one there. Then add one right on top, just like so. Add one there and extend that outwards about two blocks and delete that one. And at this point, you're gonna place a block on top, then a half slab next to it. Block on top, half slab, block on top, half slab. Let's repeat that one more time and delete each block. These little blocks are supposed to be a guideline to help us set this kind of format out. Now, once again, you're gonna extend the half slabs twice outwards, then you're gonna delete that one. Then place a block on top, half slab, block on top, half slab, all the way until you get to the top. Now make sure to delete that because we don't need that and place it right there and a half slab in front and then you're going to delete each block. Now at this point I want you to have this kind of layout and you're going to place a redstone dust on top of each half slab just like so. Now in case you guys didn't know this is actually a cool little fact. The droppers are actually considered one block. So when you add some redstone dust on top of it, it will actually activate the dropper. Let me show you. So we're going to crouch in this case, place a redstone dust right there. Extend upwards and place a redstone dust on top of every dropper that's facing the interior of the design. Perfect. Add one right there, go downwards, add another piece of redstone on top of that, and then one more time on top of that. Now let's start working on the side profile because we just got the whole back part done. Now, like I was saying, this row right here at the end, we're going to delete that because that was just more of a guideline to set up the droppers now I'll go about one block parallel to each dropper and place a block right there and a half slab underneath that's it add a rest on dust in front of it and a torch in front of that block facing the dropper now repeat the same process on the opposite end Add a block there, there, and there. And on the side, add a half slab, half slab, and of course a half slab. Add some rest on dust and a torch right in front. Perfect. Now the design is almost complete. We're going to get our trip wire, or a trip hook, and place it right on the side parallel to the rest of the lamps. So it should be one, two, three, four, five. Now to activate the trip hook, get some, some string and connect the trip hooks properly. Now, of course, over here, add some fence right across, just like so. Perfect. All right, guys, now at this point, we're gonna get our five blocks of dirt and the system is complete. Now we have to program these droppers. So we're gonna place one block right in the first spot and then place that on top of every single dropper. Now it has to be the first one. So they all could be in perfect sync. Once you've done that, your design is complete and you're good to go, guys. And there it goes, our last one. Hey, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you could please leave a comment and subscribe. Thank you.